Now, the beauty about using the quadratic formula is it works for factoring any quadratic equation. In the previous examples, the solutions we determined were all natural or rational numbers, which are fractions. However, solutions are not always going to be natural or rational values. Many of the solutions will have irrational values. And an irrational value is a value that cannot be written as a simple ratio. So, for example, we have this quadratic equation right here, x squared plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. I'm going to go ahead and write down the quadratic formula here. If our variable is x, we have x is equal to negative b plus or minus, that's our uh, shorthand, square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and then all of this is over 2a. So as we look here, a is going to be equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 3. So now using the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b, which is going to be 5, negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, or 5 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 3, all over 2a, 2 times 1. So now we can go ahead and we can do the arithmetic here. This is going to be equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root, 5 squared, that's 25. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. This is then negative 5 plus or minus the square root, 25 minus 12, is 13 over 2. Now the square root of 13 doesn't simplify. If we were to come up with a decimal equivalent, it's this long protracted decimal equivalent. This is our irrational value. So since we have this irrational value, we can just leave our solution just like this. Now don't forget, this means x is equal to negative 5 minus the square root of 13, all over 2, and x is equal to negative 5 plus the square root of 13, all over 2. Don't forget, this is just a shorthand. Rather than have to write it twice, that's just a shorthand. But both of these are going to be the solution to our quadratic equation here, x squared plus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, it's difficult to check these because it's very expansive to go ahead and, and plug in this irrational equation, try and check them. But as long as we're confident that we went through this process carefully, then we can be confident that these are the solutions. So let's try this next one here. We have 2x squared plus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. So here a is equal to 2, b is 3 and c is 3. We then have x is equal to negative b, which is 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that would be 3 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 3. And this is all over 2a, 2 times 2. We go ahead and do the arithmetic. This is going to be negative 3 plus or minus the square root. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 2, that's negative 8. And negative 8 times 3, that's negative 24. 
all over 2 times 2, which is 4. This then comes out to be negative 3 plus or minus 9 times 9 minus 24. That's the square root of negative 15 all over 4. Now, we might as well just stop right here because we have a big no-no, and that's our negative result underneath our square root symbol. Once we have a negative result right here, again, that's a big no-no. That means that there is no real solution. And we write it just like that, no real solution for this quadratic equation. There is no real solution that we could put in that would make this statement true. So we have to watch out for that negative underneath our square root. But there we go.